Welcome, everybody, to my mechanical theme park. Be sure to take a ride on the roboticizer so that you can all become my unwitting robotic slaves. <laughs> Uh, no. Hello, everybody, again. Um, <clears throat> this is not Dr. Robotnik's theme park. This is more coloring stuff. Yeah, that's what's happening here. Um, so, if you'll remember last time, <clears throat> maybe, maybe you do, maybe you don't. Last time, we... Suspense. I'm just getting something to drink. Sorry. We did things. What did we do? Where was I going with that? Oh, yeah. We did all of the shading. We did, we've got all the nice, fancy shading. And so this time, we're going to deal with highlights and stuff like that. And you'll notice that uh, I went ahead and put just kind of a grayish-blue color in the background. I just slapped that on uh, <coughs> in the very, very background layer. Nothing, nothing special. You didn't miss anything there. And now we're going to go to where are we gonna go? Where are we gonna go? What we're gonna? Oh, I gotta make it. Okay, so we're gonna do the sh the sh the shiny the, the shiny parts. There, we're gonna do the shiny parts. And in order to do those, we're going to make them their own layer. So. On top of cow pupils, we're going to make a new layer called cow shiny. <laughs> shiny, not shint. I don't know what shint is. Sounds dirty though. Okay. <coughs> yeah, that or it's a shunt that didn't quite make it. Either way, we're going to do that and then we're going to go in here and we're going to. Nope, no, nope, I don't want the blue. I want white. Is that a perfect white? Yes, it's a perfect white. Okay. Uh, give me the airbrush. And that's way too large, so let's shrink it on down. It's getting real close. Getting real close and personal like. Uncomfortably so. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Do a little something like this. Eh, that was okay. Let me shrink it down a bit more, though, to finish it off. Peculiarity. See, there's that word again. <laughs> and we'll go over here and do the same thing here on the nose. On the, sh the schnoz. The little schnozola. There we go. See, look, look, look at that. We got a nice little effect there. And also, because things are shiny, I want to go in, not with the. I want to go in and I want to add just a little bit more backlight. You know, a little bit brighter backlight to this. Not much. Just some. Now, you'll notice that, like, that's ruining my line. And you'd be right. But that's okay, though, because I'm just going to go in and kind of erase it back down. Just kind of knock it back down into place. Get it back in line. Like, we'll, we won't have any of this getting out of line nonsense. No, no. Yeah. Just kind of. There we go. Like just a, just a just a touch, just a touch to give it just that extra little oomph, extra little uh, je ne sais quoi quoi quoi. <coughs> je ne sais quoi. That's what that's what French ducks say. I don't know. I did that stupid <laughs> duck thing uh, the other day on the other one because I was half asleep and I don't know. That was that was an interesting day. That was an interesting day. But you 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 good folks got more than you bargained for that day. That's for sure. There we go. See now it's got a nice that just really pops to it. I think uh I think there's a little bit too there's not enough of the line here. And I like cut into that a little bit there. Yeah, there we go. I might want to do something similar right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, now we're talking. See, look at that. Look at that. That just really Adds to it and seals the deal in my mind anyway. Feel like I need to add a little bit more. Like, uh, well, maybe not that. Uh, yeah, that's, that's good. That's good. That's good. It's good. All right, and then we're gonna do the absolute shame thing. <coughs> oh, pardon moi. 
I don't know why. Uh, actually, let's not do that just yet. Let's, uh, let's grab, like, a darker gray off of the professor there. And let's... Yeah, there we go, there we go. This is good, this is good, this is good. Gonna add a little bit more shading to the eyes, like so. Gonna kind of come in here and do this. Because it has... A shadow. Now, I'm sure you're saying, that's covering up the lines, and you'd be right, but for the same thing I did over here, I'm going to just erase the part where it goes over the lines. It'll be fine, I promise. Is that a scream again? Are those kids out there making a mess? Or causing a ruckus, I guess would be the word? I don't know. It happens. If you can't cause a, cause a ruckus as a kid, what's, what's the point in being a kid, right? Ruckus causing is half the fun. All right, so we'll go like that. Something mm, mm, mm. uh, Let's get a little bit wider, so it's a little less harsh. And go over here and erase this part. See, I don't have any filters on this, so it's just going to come through whatever color I make it, which is actually kind of nice. Uh, let's go ahead and diffuse this a little bit with them. Um, specularity and diffusion. You're getting all kinds of fancy words today, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you with those. You have to just look them up. Oh, nope, didn't want that. There we go. That's a little better. Those are all they're all lighting terms, diffuse lighting, specularity, stuff like that. Those are actually terms that I learned playing with 3D modeling software, which I've actually done. Um I have I have a picture of I, I did the professor in the, a 3D modeling program once, and I also did the Baron because they were those two were my simplest character designs. Like Calamity would have been far more complex, and so would have um, Caitlin as well. So I was keeping it simple. Anyway, there we go. There we go. That just makes the eyes pop a little bit more, look a little bit more shiny, a little bit more interesting, a little more live. It's alive. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we've had enough mad scientists for one day. The the Baron am I making no late oh no, I don't want it there. We want it above his pupils. Like the other two. We want the no layer. Do we want the no have I made it? Yeah. No layer. And we shall call it the Baron Shane. Shine. Why do I keep doing that? The Y and T are right next to each other, and they are not playing nice today. Okay, doke. And then we just go. Uh, undo that. <clears throat> Why did that not work? Oh, because I'm on an eraser. Durr! Let's try this again. There we go. There we go. That's that's a wee bit more like it. And then I'll go ahead and go here. No, back to A. I think it's just make it smaller. There we go. Ah, ah, mm, that, mm, that's good. A little bit more light. This, and then we're gonna zoom in a bit more with my eraser. And we're gonna shrink it down. The really interesting part, I think. <coughs> Ugh. The really interesting part, I think, is going to be when we get to the fire. Because that's a fun kind of trial and error kind of thing to, to deal with. Also, while I am at this... I need to, um... Go... 
back down to the ink layer. I think I'm going to turn off the colors for the moment. See the places where I crossed over? Like For the most part, it didn't matter because his nose is black. But there are a few places where it is going to matter, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and touch that up a bit. Make that a little bit better. That's not a problem. All right, turn it all back on. Beep, 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 beep. Okie doke, and then let's see, the people sign, uh, I'm gonna go back to, no, not that, this, and we're gonna go like that, and then a little bit, and then slightly smaller, it's too small, there we go, just like that, erase the edges a little bit, there we go, see? Easy peasy. Oh, there's one other thing I want to do. I forgot. Almost forgot about it. I've got to make his. Uh, <clears throat> I'm gonna make his goggles shiny too. So I'm gonna get a little bit bigger for this and do sort of just like that. Mm. Get bigger still. Just like that. And then like that. And then I should go back to my eraser. And once I've back to my eraser, I should put on here. And erase it. Erase the extra. Because that's what we do for the eraser, yeah. That's that's the purpose of the eraser. That is the purpose. It has a very important purpose. Because it... Oh, crud on a stick. I'm erasing my inks. Curses! Curse you! Okay, then. I'm gonna need to do the same thing I did before. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go to file. We're gonna save as. I'm gonna save it as stranded cover 2. I deleted the other stranded cover 2, so. <laughs> if you'll remember last time, I made a similar mistake. I mean, it wasn't the same thing, but it was, uh, I had the wrong layer, so I guess it was the same thing. Um, oh boy, I lost, the, I lost this part too. That's okay. Let's keep what we can keep. Go back and open up regular old stranded cover. This, see, this is this is kind of the fun stuff because you get to see, you know, what happens when things don't always go according to plan. Okay, so I am gonna go. So calamity needs to be put back in. So. Cow shiny. We're gonna, I'm gonna select all. I'm gonna copy it. And I'm gonna paste it right here. And I'm gonna rename it. Same thing. So if you ever wondered what to do if <clears throat> pardon them what if you screwed up and you were on the wrong layer how to pull your proverbial tuchus out of the fire now you know this is how you do it so there's that and then let's see here i'm gonna go ahead and connect it to all these others then i'm gonna go to Baron pupil to new layer, same name, Baron Shiny, should be my next D&D &D character, Baron Shiny, <laughs> no, um, and then I will pick stuff on Baron Shiny here, control R, control copy, control paste, yoink it up, see it's just his nose here, I, re I really botched this one up. See, kids? I mess up, too. As, prof as, uh, as professionals are just as prone to flaw. Alright, and then... Fixed that problem. 
I can, yeah, the eye, I have to redo the eyes, because that was on the wrong layer, and I messed it up, <clears throat> so, but that's not so bad, because now, instead of having to redo all of it, because now, instead of having to redo all of this, I only have to redo the eyeballs, and then this part, so this is good, so, I'm going to get rid of that, no, don't save it, because it's garbage, alright, and now we've got the good one, and in the good one, we are going to save. Save and save off and see Mr. Lee would be punching me in the face right now. Alright, so we managed to avert that little disaster. And now we are going to the Baron Slayer 3. Is this it? Yeah, I need it. Why did you not put it in Baron Shiny? I had that selected and it was an empty layer, so it should have gone in there, but it didn't. Fooey. And later, layer, baron, shiny. Alright, there we go, finally. Save. Ugh. Okay, damage control's over. We, we should be able to move on now. Right, 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 right. Please, 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 please. I don't want to play anymore. Uh, that's, that's too big. Okay, give me the brush it back. Uh, uh, that's it. This is good stuff. Wow, there's a crescendo on the TV happening. I don't know if you can hear that or not. It's in the other room, but that's awful loud. Hopefully, I'll be able to remove that in post. That is the nice part about using Audacity to do my recording is uh, I can then go in and I can put in filters and things and remove a lot of that no background noise and nonsense and things that I don't necessarily want making the trip. So it's handy. Go. There we go. I think we're good there. I actually think that that's all a little bit too bright. Uh, so I'm going to tone it down just a smidge. Something a little bit like that. And now we're getting somewhere. Yeah, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right. Save, 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 save it, save it, dang it, save it. Okay, go on. Got that on, da da da, okay. Smaller, bigger. Mm, that's about right. Okay. Now. Oh, eraser, you stupid idiot! Get with the program! I am having the problems. Don't know what I am doing. I'm being distracted by distractions. No, that's too big. That's too wide. That should be good. <laughs> Alright. That makes me happy anyway. Let's go in here. And now, now, now I should be able to erase without having problems. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm not erasing my lines. That's kind of important, folks. Okay. Do, 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 do. Just cut in here like this. I should probably do this. Let's do. Use the lasso tool because it's easier. Don't worry about feathering it later. Like that, and then we're going to go here. And then we're going to go here. All oh, this is unnecessary glass. <coughs> Pardonemo again. Okay. I figure if I'm gonna hack and cough in your ear, the least I can say is pardon me. Let's 
people listening to this are gonna get the wrong idea and think that I'm sickly all the time. They're gonna, re they're gonna watch through all these videos and be like, dude, that guy's got, he's always coughing and it's not pleasant because it's not like, right. that's not pleasant to listen to. It's not good radio. And I'm sure it probably will hurt my viewership for this. But hey, you know, whatever. And again, this I'm not really super concerned about getting great viewership on because this is an experiment. This is to see what I can do, what I'm capable of, what more more specifically what the computer's capable of. Of 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 I need to go back and try streaming again. Cause all this started with me trying to stream. And <coughs> that wasn't working. That was not working out for me. So I had to default down back to just recording. I figured I could get that to work. At least that's something. And I did. I managed to get that to work. Uh, but... Obviously, I managed to get it to work. But like I, I believe I said in one of the prior things, the uh, program that I finally got to work... <clears throat> I haven't tried streaming with, and I think it has a streaming capability as well. And considering how much better this works for just regular screen capture for recording purposes, to say nothing of any attempts to stream, this thing might stream halfway decently too, because it may make better use of my system resources. So, yeah, who knows? I might, uh, I might be able to do it. At least, at the very least, I need to try it again and we'll see what we get. I'm getting a little bit there. Maybe we'll get a bit more. No, that's too big. Let's go here. Yeah, that'll do. Trying to make it look like it has a little bit of shine to it. Make it look sharper. Uh, oh, that's good. And then... Let's see here. I'm going to do something a little bit different with this. I'm going to shrink this down just much, much tinier. Oh, I need the eraser. Shrink it down much, 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 much tinier. Teeny tiny. Uh, maybe a little bigger. And I'm gonna try to give it kind of a 3D effect by erasing over the top of this. Like, <clears throat> like this part is like the little shadow part. And then we're gonna make it a little bit lighter on this side to kind of give it, make the crack seem a little more substantial, I guess. A little more. Just give more depth, I think, to the crack is 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 the way to say that. The way to word it properly. Um, da -da 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 -da. A little bit in here, okay. and then um, maybe just a tad here. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm gonna go back to my hairbrush and. That up. That. There you go. See, that kind of gives it an almost three D effect and makes the uh. The breaks seem deeper and more more real. See, look at that. When you especially when you zoom out. Of course, when you zoom way out, you you can't even really. Whoops! No, I didn't want to move that. <clears throat> anyway, when you zoom way out, you can't even really tell. But bah. I do that sometimes. I put in little details and stuff like that that it winds up nobody's gonna be able to see. But I don't know. It makes me happy. It may not be the most efficient use of my time, but it makes me happy, so... So there. Ha. 
Okay, so there are the shiny bits on the Baron. Um, Professor doesn't really need that so much because he is... He's got glasses, and he doesn't have a black nose like, uh, like Calamity here. Um, that being said, though, I think what I do want to do... <clears throat> on Calamity over here, so I want to go back to... Uh, link those together. Go back to where did he go? There he is. All shiny. Uh, let's save. No. Oh, so I've, I've already saved. See, look, I've gotten better. Um, you might get up to about there. Uh, no. Come on, use this black. Thing. Yes. The curve to it. There we go. Mm, no. A little bit like this, and then take it, and I'll just uh, with the eraser here, and I'll knock it down a bit. Um, make that a little less pronounced, and then take a more diffuse eraser and uh, very lightly tone it down. That was more than I needed. Like that. And then go to my smear. Just go like this. Da, 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 da. Uh -huh. Just give it that little, little bit extra something, and uh, it's a bit too bright, but that's real easy to knock back down by just ever so slightly tapping it with the eraser until I get it where I want it. Yeah, that, mm, it looks off. There we go. That's good. That's good. And I can do the same thing. Oh, where did you go, Baron? There you are. I could do the same thing with his goggles as well. Over here, like on this part of the goggles. Am I in the right thing? No, I'm not. <sighs> I did it again. It's okay, though. It's okay. This I can handle. Because this is on Baron Color, which is my colors. Okay. But it's alright. It's alright. It's, it's, it's handleable because I can take. Watch this. I'm going to duplicate this one. Use the shades copy, and we're going to turn it into color copy. Because if you'll remember, <clears throat> when I made this, I just copied color. Oh, but I made it darker, too. Oh, that won't do it all. That won't do it all. Guess what, kids? It's that time again. <clears throat> Let me go to color two, because of all the things I did mess up here, the color layer is not one of them. So I will select all. I'm gonna copy that, and then I'm gonna paste it in here. And now I get the fun part of dragging this back where it belongs. Turn the color layer off. This is the undamaged color layer. I get it as lined up as possible. Yeah, that's perfect lined up. Uh, I will delete this layer. And then the new one I will rename as and this is why you should keep multiple versions of your so you should keep multiple versions of your files around in case you have to cannibalize something. Anyway, back to Baron Shiny, getting the right layer, because that helps. And I can go like this. Uh, uh, there we go. Just like that. 
pas gagné son bon arrêté. And then I can go in here. And I can pull up the eraser and <clears throat> shrink it down. See, there's a lot more going on in this one. This one I'm not just, you know, idly chatting about whatever pops into my head because there's attention I have to pay. And when I you've seen you've seen firsthand twice now in this video what happens when I don't pay attention. Uh, I've I've been very lucky that I've been able to salvage things and not had to roll back to a prior save point because that's that's never fun. So yeah, I've been very lucky regarding that. Do something like this. There we go. And then what we can do is we can go over here. We can make a line. Oh. Get to this. We can make a line. Mm, no. Maybe? Yeah, nah, that's too it's too I need it to be blurrier. There we go. That'll be good. I'm gonna go over here and erase the excess. So that I have a line again. Like so. See, it's nice because that gives me a nice uh, edge, so kind of a top edge to it. It's very subtle, but it gives a nice. It gives uh, it gives the band a little more uh, thickness to it. It makes it feel a little thicker, give it a little more weight. And then I can do similarly with just kind of clearing in this part here. And then, like I did before, I can grab this ability and I can uh, just kind of... What happens right here? Uh, uh, I'll fix it. Oh, that's where the line crosses. I'm, I'm going to have to fix that. It's okay, though. Just go in here, find this, and just kind of blur a little. Now, <clears throat> the fidelity on the shading, and at least the last video that I looked at, wasn't fantastic. So I don't know if like the subtleties that I am introducing to this are coming are really coming through on your end um it may just look like i'm not doing anything but trust me when i say that it's kind of make i'm kind of blurring it out and making it look more like a band just kind of like what i did up there with calamity i was talking about bands earlier <clears throat> then i'm gonna go ahead and i do want to tone it down just ever so slightly so i'm gonna Tap it a few times with the eraser. And now we have just a little bit more depth to that. And you know what? So there's, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a little dark spot right here. And it's where this line coming in here intersected this line because it wasn't a perfect stop. And I was going to go back in on, on the uh, ink layer and fix that. But looking at it now, it kind of looks almost like a blemish on the... Uh, the thing it's called on, on, the, on the band of this thing it kind of gives it a little more texture so I actually think I'm going to just go ahead and leave that in there and have it uh, have it do that for me so I'm going to do that and then I'm going to go in here and get this little whoops no uh, I'm going to get in here and I'm going to get this little space right in here to uh, that erase this part down here and also this right here get a little bit more subtle and maybe like add some no i need it wider 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 still like maybe a little bit of a color boost there see now why i'm having to do this on the black part specifically is because of the fact that the black part, when I tried to lighten it up for the, the highlight part, like black doesn't really lighten much. 
I mean, I got a little bit of a lighter gray, but that was it. It wasn't, it wasn't enough of a difference. I can go to inks now. We're gonna save it before we start messing things up again. And I'm gonna go back in like I did before, and I'm going to get rid of this excess, these excess lines, for the same reasons that I did before. This is how I wound up getting on the wrong layer and doing some of that light st lighting stuff and shiny stuff on my ink layer. Because I forgot to go back to the shiny layer after having done this. This time, however, I did not forget. No forgetting this time. We put everything back on. We're good. It's good. It's all good. It's good. <coughs> all right. So... Where do we go next? Interesting. Um, oh, that's the old one. Go away. It's the one I messed up. <laughs> All right. Let's see here. Um, okay. I think now it's time to actually do the fire. To fire it up, Mon. So we're going to do Cal Ink, Cal Bab, it's that, but that's Baron, Cal Shiny new layer and we're gonna do fire because well it's gonna be fire what do you what do you expect what do you want from me man and let's pick oh kind of a lightish yellow yellowish orange a little bit more like that yeah that's good I like the color <clears throat> it's not the only color we're gonna work with but it's gonna it's the color we're gonna start with so we're gonna start I'm going to pull back up my sketch, because I do have a fire sketch. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to select this part of the sketch out, because I moved my torch, so that's not helpful to me anymore, so I'm going to yoink this. No? Oh. I have to actually select that layer. <laughs> that kind of helps, huh? There we go. Uh, edit. Transform. Root heat. Kind of, kind of tweak it around here. Like, yeah, that's that's good enough. <coughs> I don't want to do that so that I got some idea of where I want to put the. Uh, I want to do that because I have some idea of where I want to put the flame here. Um. So we're gonna go back up all the way up to fire, and we are gonna start off by just putting a great big blob right there and then maybe get a little bit smaller so we get that you know that nice good glow and then we're gonna start getting smaller up here and we're gonna pull uh, pull up some lines up I like the way this this part kind of like curves around I wanna sort of Do that, so I'm kind of going to get the idea going. Kind of squiggle. Really, part of the trick to fire is not to be too too exact about it, but to just kind of squiggle and make it look. You know, until you get something that kind of looks cool. You just kind of go with it. Because, you know, that's how fire is. It just kind of blows with the wind. It's amorphous. Another big $10 word for you. Amorphous. But, uh, you know, it can be... Eh, it's a little too swirly, I think. I don't know, a little bit more. There we go. That. Hmm. Eh, that's actually hard to keep that there. Uh -huh, let's just kind of do this. Where's my other editor? Um, so I'll have to do that, a little bit of this. Sort of going nuts here. That and see, so 
It's all, it's all kind of cool. It always looks kind of fire, fiery, fire-like. But then we're going to take this nifty little smudge tool and we're going to really mess with it because we're going to smear it upward. Some parts of it may be downward, but we're going to like do this with it. Give it nice, a, nice, a nice flare to it. At this point, I am going to go ahead and turn the sketch off so I can see what we really have and what needs to be touched up so I can pull a little bit more color up here into this f lick of flame. <laughs> I was wondering, like, I guess, I, guess I, I, I kind of see why they might call it a tongue, but anyway, like, you can do this to give it a little bit more of a It's not, it's not exactly an exact science here. It's almost like it's an art, huh? <laughs> what am I saying? Oh goodness. Um, like this. Wisp that up. Just all the wispy flames, wispy, wispy flames, wispy flames. The flame, the wispy, the wispy flames. Should you read the burn? I can burn the plates down. That's my stapler. Okay, um, da -da 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 like this, and then a little bit more. Mm. Let's get bigger, and let's really, like, warp this thing a little bit. Mm. Then we'll go in this direction, and back in that direction a bit, kind of get a little bit more feeling. There's maybe yank, mm, that's too big. Let's go here. Maybe yank this up a bit. Yeah, there we go. <clears throat> there we go. Now we're re now we're really talking. Now it's really starting to look fiery. Kind of pull that down. Uh, something like this. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, da -da -da. And just kind of. Just kind of work it up as you go, sort of making it the shape you you want it to be, and you kind of warping it and twisting it and things, and go back to a smaller one. Clean it out of that. Okay, so let's see. It's a good. I feel like that's a good start. I also feel like I need to take it and scooch it over just maybe a little bit. There we go. Um, and, uh, maybe even, I might even, um, let's, uh, let's put it horizontal and see. Yeah, I think that, that looks better. That matches like the, the arc of his arm to the torch to, to the flame better. Has a better thing. I'm going to actually take off, or I'm not going to take it off because I still want it there, but I want to turn down my uh, little uh, template there so that I can just barely see it. So I can still use it as a uh, <clears throat> frame of reference, but I don't want, especially since this part, this part of this bar of it is yellow, I don't want that uh, interfering with my color stuff here. So let's just go do that. And then let's get slightly bigger. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Good, good. All right. Let me take some of this down and then back up. Yeah. All right. Uh, I feel like I need a little bit more. Yeah, there we go. A little bit more on this side. All right. All right. We got that going on. This fun, sorry, mess. Then we're gonna take uh, take that maybe maybe move down and back up a little bit. There we go. Um, something like that. We got so we've got a fire here, more or less. And now what we're gonna need to do is we're gonna go color dodge. Aha! See you see what that did. Now we're not there yet though because what we actually want to do is we're gonna go back to normal. We want to duplicate this. 
and then put this one on color dodge. Aha, see? And then take this one and probably do, oh, hard light. No, maybe soft light. Color, color burn. Be interesting. Oh, yeah, look at, look at some of that. <coughs> Gotta crank that down a bit. Color dodge one. Oh, maybe duplicate it. Yeah, make it a little bit brighter. Uh, actually, no. Let's just put this back to normal for the moment. Take that off. Uh, let's go ahead and let's duplicate it again. And that's what I'll make the burn layer. And then I'll add the dodge layer. Ah, see, look, it's got an interesting sort of, I don't know, texture to it. Uh, duplicate layer, make it a nice glow. Just kind of adjust opacity settings to get a nice kind of, there we go. Now we're talking. So now we have fire. <laughs> See, pretty cool, huh? But we're not done yet because we still need to put in a little bit. We're gonna make a new layer. We're gonna call it glow, and that's gonna be like more the like the actual fire light that comes off of the fire. We're gonna go with a slightly brighter shade of yellow here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and put that here like this. And we're going we're gonna to yank, yank it up to the top, too. And we're going to make it another dodge layer. Uh, uh, actually, I think I'm going to make it even brighter still. We'll make it more of a white. So we're going to remove what's there. And we're going <coughs> to part on it more. Back to my airbrush. Uh, maybe screen. A little bit better. Overlay. Hard light. Duh. Hmm. That makes it feel too bright um multiply does nothing for me lighten i don't know it still looks too i don't know hazy for lack of a better word uh hmm this isn't working for me let's go ahead and get rid of it let's go back to just this bright bright yellow color and let's go in here like this Smear it some. Good. And now we're gonna go to we're going to next gonna that's let's rename that. That's gonna be inside fire. And then we're gonna make a new thing called glow. Which is going to go underneath it. For that, we're going to go with more of the uh, a little heavier on the orange again. And we're going to make a very large area out of this one, I'm thinking. They like about that big. Something like that. Yeah, there we go. And then do the same kind of thing with the blur thing to stretch it upward. Like that. And that made a few things just a little bit too bright. So what we need to do is play around with oof wow, nope, that's too much. <laughs> Ooh, that's weird looking. Um hard light's good. 
Yeah, I think hard light's good. We're gonna go with hard light on that. And then I'm gonna adjust the fire some more to try to get the the proper uh, level of glowiness. Kind of adjust it a bit. This is the one that, oh, it's not firing. I like that. I feel, I feel good about that. I feel like that's that really gets the point across. So there you go. Well, I feel like maybe the burn one needs to go here. And kind of yeah, that that kind of removes some of like the streakiness to it a little bit. Um, I don't know, but kind of like that. Ah, there we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Get that part there that's just really, really glowing. Kind of maybe pull that up just a little bit in certain places. Ah, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Now it's looking like fire to me. That's what it needed. That's just a little bit more than it needed to really just make the final bit. Yep, yep. Okay. So there we go. We have a flame. Yay! Look at that. It's so pretty. Now, <clears throat> in addition to that, there are other things that need to happen. Back on cow shiny, I'm going to make another layer, which I'm going to call firelight. And using the same colors that I used up here, Slightly, slightly more yellow, kind of gold rod sort of color, something like that. Using that same color scheme, I am going to um. So let's just give me an airbrush, and I'm gonna take it, and I'm gonna do this. Because you gotta think about, you know, the fact that the fire casts light on everything below it. So, I do that, that, uh, the other one's kind of covered, so I don't have to worry so much about that. A little bit there on his ear, and on his hat as well, will be some. Not quite that much, but I'm going to erase it. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, da -da. A little bit here. Not, not much. Just a touch. Because, of course, the further you get away from the uh, the fire, the less the light is going to affect it. So, And, you know, <coughs> this isn't in the middle of the night. So it's not like all of the light in the, in the uh, picture is coming directly from the fire. You know, you've got other light sources here that are more powerful than the fire is. So, the fire is not the most important light source here. And as such, we're not gonna do a lot of this. I would do a whole lot more of this if it was, if this uh, was in the middle of the night because then obviously the firelight would be the major source of light and so it would it would reach a lot further and affect a lot more but being that it is not the main source of light here at the moment it's only going to affect things that are you know somewhat close to the immediate vicinity uh maybe some maybe but here but even then not much cuz this is going to cast a shadow the, uh, the folded part of his, the brim of his hat. <clears throat> uh, 
that. Maybe there's just a little bit that would be cast upon his tail. Other than that, I think maybe a bit there. Let's give it a bit. Yeah, let's give it a little tiny bit there. That's good. Eh, well, less than that. There we go. Oh, and then maybe the back of his. There, there. That's good. That's good. <clears throat> now we gotta go in here. We're gonna erase the parts on, on this side. Let's do this so that I can change my eraser size. There we go. It's like the parts were kind of went out of the lines. We're gonna just remove. This, this here, do like this. Boopy boop dear. Go down here and do likewise. Get all of that extra, and then there's just a little bit where it kind of co cuts into the uh, lines here, because I don't want it to really affect the lines all that much. This is okay, because <clears throat> part of this, anyway, is already in the firelight, so if it kind of Extends a little past. That's all right. Uh, and then down here. Like so. What else did I touch? I don't think I touched anything else. With, oh, there's this place up here. Yeah, I can kind of cut that out. Cut this out as well. <coughs> all right, now. One other little thing I need to do, I feel like, is like there's this is a little much here on this on his hat. So I'm gonna cut that down a bit, and then make it make it ever so slight. Because again, it's the middle of the day, so like yeah, the fire's gonna it's gonna throw some light, but it's not gonna throw a ton of light. So I don't want to go nuts with it. There we go. See, and now you've got some a little bit of firelight. Um, and that's going to be attached to Calamity because that's on him. Actually, Calamity is going to be attached to the glow, the fire, the fire copy, the fire copy 2, fire copy 3, and inside fire because all of that's attached to the torch was attached to him. However, <clears throat> because of the professor's proximity, we're going to go to the professor and we're going to go to Professor Inks. Make sure everything's connected here. And we're going to add a new layer and we're going to call it Firelight Prof. <coughs> and that's fur light, not firelight, but you know what? It's going to be the firelight reflecting off of his fur, so we're going to just go with it. Because <laughs> then we're going to have a little bit of eh, just a touch of it on him as well. Not a lot, but you know, his head's exposed to the fire as well, so I may as well put a little bit of firelight on him. Not much, just a tad, and that's a little much. Let me see if I want to see diffuse. There we go. No, oh, that's way too big. No. Also way too big. Such a little tiny touch. There we go. Um, also on his headband. Depth to his headband too, which is cool. Maybe go a little bit here, and then just a tad bit here, just enough to just give it a little bit, a little bit of something. 
they go a bit on Spalding. A little bit on a uh, little bit on Spalding's leaves, leaf, leaves, leaves, leaves. These things. <laughs> Tad bit on that. Uh, maybe a little bit even on the. A little bit on his cheek, perhaps. Ever so slightly, like barely, barely even visible, barely even visible. I don't want it a whole lot. That's for sure. Just a little bit, just, just a tad, <clears throat> to make it look like both the professor and calamity are sharing the same space. Because they're sharing the same space, the light is going to affect him just as it would affect Calamity. So, just a touch. Just a touch to kind of tie the whole thing together. Make it like they're all part of the, supposed to be part of the same picture instead of different pictures that are just spliced together. <clears throat> because this is Photoshop. And that's what Photoshop is known for. <clears throat> We're, we're drawing our pictures. <clears throat> we don't need to splice no stinking pictures. All right, all right, all right. We're good. Gives it that just nice little touch. <clears throat> now, how do I want to do... Uh, let's do... No, not multiply. Uh, screen. Uh, overlay? No. Hard light. I think that would be what you'd want to go with. <clears throat> wow. Loud, man. Are we deaf? Is that why the m movie's so loud? We're going to be deaf. We keep the movie this loud. Is that Indiana Jones? I think that might be Indiana Jones. Anyway, <clears throat> <clears throat> I digress. <clears throat> All right. Let's see here. I think I might want to go ahead and add just. Uh, no, it's too big. Just a teeny tiny little touch along this part right here. Let's finish that up. Would you turn that down, please? <clears throat> Sorry. Um. Let's see here. Yeah. All right. All right. That should do it. <clears throat> that should do it. Um, there's one other thing I need to do. Uh, I need to go to new layer and. I'm going to do prof, because I didn't do this, the others, and, oh, it shouldn't be hot, hit light, mm, it shouldn't be hit light, for one, um, it's supposed to be shiny, I meant to do the shiny thing, even though it's not really going to be <clears throat> so much that for him, uh, more for him, it's going to be like I did with, I didn't forget to do it with Baron too, so I'm going to go back. <clears throat> and I need the sort of a grayish color. I think I pulled from here when I did that. <clears throat> anyway. I'm going to make... I'm going to do the shading on his glasses. Just like I did with the shading on Calamity. Uh -uh. I don't know. With him, it's gonna have to be different because he's got the. Uh, I could put. I could put it here. There we go. I can do this. Actually, no. I'm not even gonna do that. I'm gonna do this. I am gonna use <clears throat> the color there, and I'm gonna work with that because. We've already established that as a shade color for his glasses anyway. 
could just kind of do this with it. <clears throat> Make it maybe a little bit darker in here. Make what's there kind of blurred a bit. And give it more of a nice 3D effect by just really doing this and going nuts with it. And then obviously I gotta get rid of this part here in the middle. So, it's all pretty interesting though, that should do it. <clears throat> Just gives it a little bit more of a 3D effect. And actually, I feel like I should probably also do this. And uh, kind of make that a little less prominent. Then what I'm going to do is I also want to go in and I want to this part here and kind of uncover that because I got a little bit on that and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my shading or my, not my shading, my burn tool which makes it darker just kind of make it darker in some places I actually want to do the same thing with his actual color here. I'm gonna select nope. I'm gonna select that part, those parts. And then I'm gonna do this. Add a little bit extra depth to it. Something like that. Yeah da 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 da, da. go. There we go. Now they look more like glasses. Aha! That's good. And then <clears throat> let's go back to the gray. Let's go back to uh, the Spoly Big Prof Shiny. And we're going to go in and we're going to add a little bit of shading to his. Uh, a little bit of shading to his. Clothes. They're, just pretty, they're pretty good, but I want to add a bit more just to kind of give it a little bit more depth to it. go. I mean, it's kind of what's happening here. I'm making it up as I go. A little bit of that in here. Probably needs to, he probably should have a bit more of a shadow from his arm onto his, uh, his body proper here. His arm is going to cast a shadow. So... I'm gonna go in and erase the part where it went over the line. It's no big deal. Simple and easy enough to do. Like so. Ba -da -ba, ba -da -ba. Whoops, hang on. I missed it. I need to grab this and scooch it back up a bit. I don't want a, I don't want a little white halo before you hit the actual shadow because that makes no sense. That would be weird. Oh, so I gotta get that off of his thumb like so. Uh, 
Uh -huh. da -da -da -da. Everything else. Well, oh, there's some stuff up here. All right. Take care of this. Take care of this. And this. And this. And this. Just some little simple things. Touch them up. All right. There we go. That gives the professor a little more depth. Also, again, I want to go back to these colors. I want to select. Whoop, nope, that didn't work. That's okay. This part's white. White won't. Uh, white will not be affected by it at all. So it's okay. I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna do this to make his uh, sleeve a little darker. But like I said, you. Uh, Go here. Uh, take me back to the color here and try to take care of this because we've got some artifacts here. Didn't feel not quite carrying as far as I wanted, but that's okay. Because that's fixable with just a little bit of smudging. That good, good smudge tool. Blah, 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 blah. Like so. And I'm going to go ahead and I think I'm going to go ahead and make it a little bit darker still even. Ah, see, like it's own, it's its own color now. <laughs> so I've, I've made some progress. Nope, wrong way. Wrong thing. Try again. There we go. this and then get rid whoops of the extra lightness around here go back to my colors and get rid of a couple of the little white artifacts and we as they say are in business Good job. Okay. Um, I need to go back to the barren shinies, and I need to uh, do the uh, shiny parts of his eyes, the, or the shaded parts actually. Deselect, and we're gonna go do this. Um, a little bit bigger, I think. Yeah, that's what we want. Just like that. And then do the same thing over here. So, up, up. No. I do think that's Indiana Jones in there because I hear a kid yelling. And Indiana Jones, of course, had short round. Or Indiana Jones 2. The, the Temple of um, Temple of Doom had kids in it. I, I had Short Round. I just said Short Round. What am I talking about? But yeah, Temple of Doom had that. I think that's what I'm hearing. I could be wrong. And it certainly wouldn't be like, man, and scream, lots of screaming. Yeah, you know what else? It had lots of screaming, too, because it had Willy, uh, the singer that got accidentally got pulled along on the adventure because she was in the wrong place at the wrong time yeah i'm pretty sure that's what's going on in the background <laughs> i love these movies they're fun they're some of my favorites uh,
Those are great fun movies. Obviously, there's a little Indiana Jones inspiration in uh, in this stuff in my uh, in my work. And honestly, you know what? The crowd with it. I'm gonna I'm gonna give a little something more away about my next project. Uh, it's got some Indiana Jones inspiration in it. Amongst other things, it's not just that, but uh, it's got that kind of adventure sort of thing going on. So, that's another reason that I'm excited for it. Alright, let's see here. We have... Let's, 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 let us take stock of what we have done. We have gotten some shading in on the eyeballs so that they you know have look a little more 3d we got shading in on our pupil or not shading but you know bright lights on our pupil or shining sh shines on our pupils um oh there's one thing that we there's one thing that we need to do uh let's go back to the professor Professor Shiny, there we go. And, uh, yeah, we want this, and I want white. We're gonna go over here. Uh, I'm do, I wanted to do the same thing on the Professor's Band here as I did on all the other characters. So, see, so the Professor here, Rather than having, originally I was going to give his glasses, you know, earpieces, like normal glasses. But then there's the problem of the fact that the professor has no ears, because he's a, he's a platypus. He doesn't have ears that protrude from his head, like most mammals. So, because of this, I had to come up with a more interesting way to attach his... Uh, attaches glasses and it occurred to me like okay he's a science guy he's a professor um <clears throat> so why why wouldn't he make his glasses like like science goggles right and go ahead and make them uh make them so that he could uh strap them on and then he wouldn't have to worry about losing them, because they would be strapped to his head. And, you know, it, it just seemed like a natural thing for him to do. And it also so solved the problem of, okay, well, how am I going to make him attach these things to his head when he has no ears? And it makes no sense to, for him to have, you know, earpieces if he has no ears. So, that's what I came up with. And so that is why... Yeah, there we go. That's good. That's why the professor has straps on his glasses. It's because that they are like it's because they're like uh, science goggles in that way. Uh, lab lab goggles. That's the word. Safety goggles. That's what I'm looking for. Safety goggles, like you will, like a scientist would wear in a lab. There, got it. Got it? Got it. Good. So, we got that. So, we are in some pretty good shape here. Um, our characters are there. One thing I do want to do is I want to make sure everything is attached to the character that they belong in. So, I'm going to try moving things. Okay, yeah, that's just the professor and his layers together. Very good. Um, let's go to the Baron. Baron and his layers. He's not leaving anything behind or moving anything else with him. That's good. And then... Calamity and his layers. Again, he's not leaving anything behind, so that's good. So everything is in order. <coughs> so... By my figuring... This is this is what we've got. 
So we went in, we did all the little shines and all the extra little highlights and doodads and what's it's. And then we also went in and did some pretty cool firelight effects up here, which, you know, I'm very happy with that. I told you that would be kind of fun to do. Um, so we've done all of that now. And so now I, I think, I think that's going to be it for, for today. Um, tomorrow, I say tomorrow, it'll be a while for you probably, but uh, on the next one, I think I'm going to go ahead and we'll be working on the background. The background should be pretty quick and easy. I've got a few tricks that will uh, make that happen faster. The tree probably is going to be the most involved thing in the background. Um, thinking of like curving it around, like having some of the fronds hanging down over here. That's kind of what I'm thinking. That's <coughs> pardon moi. That's where my brain's at right now, anyway. Who knows? I may wind up somewhere else by the time that this is over. But there you go. There you go, folks. We got uh, we got three characters, fully color, fully inked, colored, shaded, and it's a little bit extra added on for flavor, like lighting effects and stuff like that, just to really, really bring it to life, really make it an interesting cover for for our comic. So that is where we're at, and uh, from there, we will move forward. Um. Probably what I'm going to do before we start anything else, because, as I'm sure you have noticed by now, um, I have a ridiculous, ridiculous number of um, layers. And I told you I would. I told you I'd get up to a silly, ridiculous number of layers. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, well, let's see, hang on. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten in every thing. So that's ten. That's twenty. That's thirty. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's twelve. So there's thirty. One, two, three, four, five. There's like thirty-eight layers here. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> So, in order to make things a little easier and simpler, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to go back in and I'm going to take each character and flatten them down into one layer. Um, and then I will save that as an advanced version of the file. I will still keep the version of the file that has all the layers for each character, just in case I need to go back and change something. Because, as you've seen with a couple of my little mistakes there... Uh, that's that's something important. That's something you want to have at your disposal is to be able to go back and fix things. So, um, oops. So you know that's some that's something you want to uh, have so that you can do it um, in case things go terribly wrong, which happens. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna hang on to that file, but I'm gonna create the next file in line. <clears throat> I'm going to flatten and merge all these characters down. <clears throat> the fire is probably going to have to remain its own separate layer in order to keep it some filters and such. But uh, other than that, I'll, I'll, I'll flatten the characters and that'll cut down... <coughs> Pardon me. <clears throat> Always happens around in the end. That will uh, they'll cut down on the... It'll cut down on all the uh, excess layers, and it'll it'll make the uh, it'll make the file smaller, and it'll also make it more manageable for me to mess with and to move the characters around and shrink or resize them or do whatever it may be that I need to do. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, that's that's where we're at. I'm pleased with it. I think it looks pretty snazzy, um, and uh, <clears throat> so we'll come back. We'll come back again next time, and we will do backgrounds. So until then, you guys just have a fantastic day. Enjoy your life and everything about it, and uh, we'll be back next time. Or I'll be back next time. I hope you'll be back next time. I hope I'm not just speaking into the ether. I'm going through all this trouble to record this. I hope it, you know, hopefully somebody's watching. 
<laughs> Alrighty, goodbye.